If you've been waiting for part four of the stump grinder build, then stick around and we'll use this piece of steel here to connect this cutter head to this old snowblower. Well, you can see we've got the main frame welded up here to attach the cutter head to the snowblower and we've got to make a couple decisions. The first being where to cut this shaft off to get our pulley on it to go up to the drive pulley. Also, I need to determine how I want to attach this frame here to the snowblower. I thought about welding it solid the whole length here on both sides but I don't know if with this part being so stout and the snowblower being so flimsy if that's just going to crack with all the vibrations. I thought maybe I could use the original bolt holes inside here and maybe that would allow it to flex a little bit while it's uh, being used. I don't know. Also, if I weld it solid and it, it cracks off and rips, it's going to be a nightmare trying to redo this. Whereas if I just bolt it on there and it rips out, I can just rebuild this whole back frame out of something heavier, which maybe I should have done to start with. I don't know. I had this snowblower, that was the whole original intent was it was going to be easy and while well, you can see we've gone a long way from just using an old snowblower. But those are decisions we have to make. For now I'm going to drill the holes to mount the pillow blocks up here, get that done and I'll think about this some more while I'm doing that. And here it is, we've got the cutter head actually mounted on the snowblower. Well obviously there's work left to do but we're making progress. The next video we'll get the uh, belt drive set up, get a tensioner mounted for the uh, for the belt so we can um, turn this on and off. I don't want to have to have it running the whole time the engine's on. It'd be nice to be able to, uh, to disengage this. Get the throttle set up, get a fuel tank mounted, some odds and ends. Maybe get the shield fabricated for the cutter head. Hopefully just one or two more parts in this series, guys. I know it's been a little while. Um, I haven't had a ton of free time work. It's been pretty busy for me. So thanks for being patient and sticking with me. Please stay tuned for the next video where we will see this thing run. We may not be grinding stumps with it, but we will see this cutter head powered by that motor. See you then. <laughs>